we got here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that smallmouth. Oh my god. Look at the size of the smallmouth I just caught. Look at that thing. That's a smallmouth bass right there. Good lord. We're down here. We rode down to Tennessee earlier today and we ran out and got some supplies, pick up a bucket of minnows, and just figured we'd come out here and fish behind the place where we're staying here along Watts Bar Lake and just floated a minnow down through there and I caught me an 18 inch smallmouth bass. He's huge, really nice fish. I wasn't lying. He is right on the 18 inch line. That's a big smallmouth. And how did I know with Dana here, I was gonna have to end up keeping this fish? Oh, he pulled me in the grass in a stick. <laughs> oh, that's what he is. He's a little bluegill. Nice one, Dana, nice one. Maybe we should put a stringer of those together. We're back down here on the shore of Watts Bar tonight. And Dana just got a bluegill. We got run off right after I caught that bass last night uh, by a thunderstorm. So we wanted to give it another try tonight. We're not really down here just to do fishing. We're kind of looking, looking around, checking the area out. But we wanted to do a little fishing too. And sometimes shoreline access can be one of the hardest things to find if you're unfamiliar with the area. So a lot of times what we'll do is we'll keep that in mind and even if we're not here to fish and we went ahead and rented a little place right along the edge of the lake with lake access and instead of staying in a motel that gives you the opportunity to get out in the evening when you've done what you've got to do and do some fishing. So let's see if we can make this work out this evening. What do you think Dana? Yeah, I'm ready to catch some fish. I haven't been able to go fishing at all because of my surgery, so I'm ready. Got one. <laughs> well, he can't. Oh, it's a shell cracker. It's a red ear. Oh, it is a shell cracker. It's a red ear. They are in here. Let's see who I got here. Uh oh. It's the catfish. Little baby channel cat. Oh, don't stab me, buddy. Hmm. Little tiny baby channel cat. Well, we didn't do too much, did we, Dana? No, we didn't. Not at all. Uh, little tiny. I was hoping to get on some shell crackers for the uh, freezer, but I also thought it was that little tiny one. And you got a bluegill. Yep. Definitely not. Got a bluegill. Not what I'd hoped for after that big bass last night. Mm -hmm. But, uh, it's a nice shoreline access. We might be back down here and try this again, maybe in the morning or something, see if the bite's a little better in the morning. But there's other ways to find shoreline access. And we were told we could go down to the Watch Bar Dam and fish, so maybe we should give that a try. We should try that maybe in the morning one day. One day, try it in the morning, that sounds good. Okay, let's do that then. It's a crappie. It's yeah. a crappie. Oh. <gasps> oh my. It's a huge crappie. Look at that. First bite in the morning here. We came up to watch Bar Dam. Don't lose him. And we got some minnows. He's hanging. And I got me a nice crappie. His tail's a little chewed up. But look at that. We got to measure them. I think they got to be, uh, I'll have to check the regulations. I got it printed out in my tackle box. But uh, there you go. First bite of the morning. Let's see if we can't get a few more. We need to find somewhere else to go fish. We're not catching nothing here. Well, so far all we got is that one crappie. Other than that, it's been really slow. He's a nice crappie. Turned out he was legal, but we can't can't get on him. We can't get him to hit. We can see him rising in here and busting the top. We're pretty sure it's a school of crappie, but we just can't get him interested in our minute. 
been throwing some spinners too. I know there's white bass in here. We caught white bass up here when we fished with Captain Naraki. Out here for those stripers in the spring, big white bass, stripers. Wrong time of year for that, but I was hoping there might be some white bass. So we're throwing some spinners, seeing what we can get. Got our fingers crossed. Hopefully the action will pick up. Something nice, but I think it could be in a snag. Unless it's a turtle. Give it slack. Just give it slack. Nope, it's coming. It started coming. It's coming. Oh, it's something big. I can see it rolling. It's something big. I can see it rolling. Don't step on my rod right here. Oh no. Get out of that stick. I think it's a big cat. Oh, it is a big cat. That's a nice cat. That's a nice cat, isn't it? Look at that. Oops. Hooked one up. See what I got here. Dana just got that nice cat. And I got me. Whoop. Big old shell cracker. Look at him. Probably can't see him in the sun. All right. Got me. Got me a nice shell cracker here. Big old red ear sunfish. He's going on the stringer. We decided to come back down here behind the house after we took care of what we had to do today. And uh, Dana just caught that nice cat. And I was sitting over here breaking everything off on this along this rocky bank. So I rigged up uh, with a bullet weight. Like bass fishermen will fish a plastic worm on, try to keep the weight out of the rocks. Cast it out and I didn't get snagged that time. <laughs> Unlike a lot of our trips, which are purely for outdoor recreation, either a hunting trip or a fishing trip, this trip to Tennessee was one we needed to do to conduct some business. Now, we were still able to enjoy some hunting and fishing for just a few hundred dollars more than it would have cost us to rent a motel room for the week while we were down here. We rented an Airbnb on this beautiful lakefront setting and we were able to put our downtime to good use. In the evenings we came out here, Dana got that beautiful catfish, I caught a great bass, some panfish. We got to uh, go over to the dam for the one free morning we had and I got a crappy over there. So that's several meals of fish we were able to produce and keep the grocery bills down just in our downtime. And we got to stay in a beautiful idyllic setting so much better than a highway motel something you can consider next time you've got out of town business but for now we got to head back home so I'm gonna wrap this up we hope to see you again real soon don't forget to subscribe because we did use a free day to do some trip fishing while we were down here you're gonna like that video too we're www.camotrepproductions.com is sharing me out to us on YouTube and we hope we see you again real soon.